everybody, it's Francesca from Frank Vinyl and oh my gosh, I have been meaning to film this video for a very, very long time. Um, so normally I, well for those of you that are new here, I am a fashion lifestyle blogger and normally I post about fashion lifestyle blogging, um, outfits, my life, behind the scenes of being an influencer, that kind of stuff. But today I am going to be talking all about roller skating. Now I know this seems super random, but um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you see that I have grown a passion for roller skating and it's something that I've been doing for the past year and a half. And um, I've been getting a lot, a lot of questions about it, a lot of um, DMs, and a lot of it is the same. So I figured that this would be the best way to address this. So if any more people have the questions, I could just direct you to this video. So um, let me give you a little intro into how I got into roller skating. So about a year and a half ago, I was scrolling through my friend's Instagram, a childhood friend, and I saw her on roller skates dancing, I think it was like two years ago, maybe even, dancing um, on skates in her garage. And I was like, what is this? And then I followed some hashtag that she put and I went down a crazy black hole. I mean, like I was hours just scrolling and following and like obsessing over. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. This seems awesome. I had been looking for a hobby that was something I could be passionate about and that would give me exercise and get me moving, that would take me away from taking photos or editing photos or emails or being behind my computer because my passion is creating content, taking photos, and that requires a lot of editing, that requires um, just being on my computer 24 seven. And to be honest, my neck kind of hurts from it and it's just not good for your body to be sitting that long. So. I was like, I need another hobby um, because I love what I do. I can do it 24 seven and just not give my body a break from the screen. And that's just in the end unhealthy. So I was like, okay, I need something that's super, super healthy. Um, so when I saw this, I had already been searching for something like this. And I was like, this is it, this is perfect. I'm gonna try this out. I bet you this looks like so much fun. I wanna do this. So I got some roller skates, I think within like, I think I sat on it for a little and then finally I got roller skates and I threw those skates on the second I got them and it has been a love affair ever since I got them. So um, it took me a while to learn but I have been practicing like crazy for about a year and a half and now I finally feel more confident in it and I'm moving towards things that I have been wanting to do forever. And um, I love, love sharing it with you guys. So if you aren't following me and you found me through YouTube, you can check out my roller skate account and see my whole journey. I've been documented, documenting it from the beginning. It's Frank Vinyl underscore skates. I'm gonna put it right here. And um, I'm gonna now jump into this. So I haven't done YouTube for a long time and I might be a little rusty, so I'm sorry about that. But one of the questions that you guys ask me all the time is what skates should I buy? So I haven't tried all the skates. Um, I don't know all of them. I only know what I've tried. So I'm going to give you advice from a non-professional because I am obviously not a pro. I've only been skating for a year and a half. Um, and from what I know, um, I think I'm just repeating myself now. So I actually started with Impala skates. And the reason I started with Impala is because I asked uh, that girl, my skate friend who had been skating before me, I was like, well, what skate should I start with? Like, I have no idea. The same question you guys are asking me. And she said, I would get Impalas because it is not expensive. If you're not sure if you're gonna commit to it, I think it's a great skate. And so I was like, okay, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna commit to it. I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this. I'm not gonna spend a lot of money. Let's do an Impala. So I grabbed Impala skates. Um, my first impression was they were great. I didn't know what the hell I was supposed to expect from skates. So the skates that I got are the Marawa, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, Marawa times Impala collaboration. So she's a professional roller skate hula hoop girl and she did a collaboration with Impala and made these skates and they are beautiful, beautiful skates. And to be honest, I also have the holographic ones that are silver, so it's the same as this, but silver. And um, I actually like these more. So the reason I like these more is because they have more padding here, they're more comfortable, and the wheels are better. The original stock Impala wheels, I don't really love. I don't think they're great. These wheels are a little smoother. They turn a little better. Um, they're just not as janky, I don't know. She, she made this better than the other ones, to be honest. Um, you can tell the difference when you have both of them. So 
I would highly suggest to get these if you can get your hand on these Impalas. Um, they're under, I think they're under $100, if anything, definitely under $130. And um, they're, they're good. They lasted me about a year and a half. I really liked them. They did everything I needed them to do. Once I really started learning how to do transitions quickly and spins quickly, then I was like, all right, I need to upgrade my, my wheels. So then I actually ended up upgrading to some fun day wheels just uh, because these wheels grab onto the ground a little too much, which is great if you're a beginner, you wanna make sure you can go over um, pebbles and be in like cracked streets and stuff. Then the original gummy thicker wheels are great. But if you wanna do dance skating, tricks, spins, I personally love my fun days and um, I put those on my other Impalas and they're, it's amazing, such a great difference. And I was able to finally do some tricks that I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it. And it was because I didn't have the speed or the agility with the other wheels. Um, now, after about a year and a half, I realized that the Impalas, okay, you guys might know that Impala has horrible reviews online like really bad thank god i didn't even see those reviews when i got the impala i was just like yeah let's get the impala and then i actually started seeing all the reviews and all the stuff about the company afterwards so if you aren't familiar and you have no idea impala has a really bad reputation of the skates just falling apart the heel this part coming off which i mean mine are still good a year and a half later um, the plate breaking, just a lot of like bad things and supposedly bad customer service. I don't know. I haven't had issues. I've had this for a year and a half. They're still sturdy. They're still together. I use them like crazy. They've been good to me. Um, the only thing I will say is that after a while, this part right here starts to kind of sag as you see, it kind of has a little ugliness going on. It's just going to happen. Your skates are eventually the holographic ones, especially going to get all scuffed up if you can see. And um, I will say what I noticed after a year and a half, it took a year and a half though, is that the tongue started to kind of twist to the side and like fall down a little. So it doesn't stay in place very well when I put them on. And it's starting to bunch up a little at the bottom here. Again, after a year and a half. So if you're a beginner, you're not sure if you're gonna stick around, you just wanna try it out, maybe you don't have the money, Impala is fine. Now, I ended up after a while when I was like, okay, I wanna try skate parks, I wanna try jumping, I wanna really like do crazy stuff, I upgraded to Moxie's. And um, I originally got the Moxie Lolly because that one had really good reviews. And the reason I got Moxie's is because that's the one I saw all the skaters had and that everybody said was a great boot. Um, so I originally got the Moxie Lolly, which is what the skate that a lot of skaters have um, because it's it's not as cheap as Impala and it's not as expensive as the most expensive boot that Moxie has. It's about $300, which is still expensive. It's an investment though. And um, the boot is leather, so it'll last you forever as long as you take good care of it. Um, the reason I ended up returning that boot is because it felt a little too, it didn't feel like it had much support on my ankle. And that might be because I was super, super used to the Impala. And this boot has, this boot has a lot of support here. It's like stiff. I mean, like it bends a little bit and it has good um, padding inside, but it's pretty stiff. So if you're doing turns and you learn on this and you're used to a more stiffer ankle and I, in general, have weak ankles. Um, I've always had weak ankles. They're probably stronger now after a year and a half, but I used the lolly for a little and I kept immediately falling over and I just felt like my ankle was gonna break. And I was like, I can't do this. I need a stiffer boot. So I started to research and turns out the jack boot, while it's double the money and more expensive, has a lot more uh, hold on the ankle, but it's not as stiff as Impala. So it still has give. And now I, the boot I use now is the Moxie Jack boot. And I love, 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 love this boot. You do not, if you're a beginner, highly suggest don't jump to the Moxie Jack boot. It's expensive. It is definitely an investment. But if you're like, I'm going to commit to this. I absolutely love this. Um, I already know how to skate. I just really want like the best boot. Mo I mean, the Moxie Jack is the best. Again, I haven't tried other boots. I'm just saying in my experience of what I've tried, this is what I'm loving. Um, so this is my Moxie Jack boot. 
I have the, this is actually custom built that I got from Pigeon Shop. And this boot, um, here's why I like it. It's higher. So if I'm doing dance skating, which is what I really want to do, it holds your ankle. If you're doing like spins and jumps and stuff, you want to make sure you have good support on your ankle. So it's a little higher than the other boots. I think, I think it's a little higher, higher than the lolly actually. And it's got way more padding. It's just got a lot of padding. It's got shearling here. So it's super comfortable. Um, it actually has like padding around here. So it holds in really well. Um, the other thing that I got was the radar energy wheels. I love, 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 love these wheels. They are great for outdoor skating, but also like dance skating um, and like doing spins and stuff. They're just super agile. They're, they're great for outdoors. This boot in general just feels very, very sturdy. And I just feel like taken care of. It doesn't feel janky. I actually wore my Impala, the pink ones today. And I was just like, oh, I miss my, my Moxies. Um, but every boot is different. Now I use the Impalas for when I go to the beach because I don't really want to get sand on my Moxies because these are my babies and these were my big investment. Um, so yeah, I love my Moxie boots. Everybody always asks me, how do you love them? I love, love, love them. They're molding to my feet still, but honestly, everybody asks me how's the break-in period. Supposedly these boots are kind of like Doc Martens, like they hurt your feet for a while. I didn't feel that personally, but I do feel it when I go to the skate park. If I'm just on the street, if I'm dancing, jam skating, whatever, I don't feel it. But when I go to the skate park, I don't know what it is. I can feel it a lot more. The boot starts to um, be a lot tighter on me, but it's a great boot. It's sturdy. I know it's going to last me forever. Um, it's leather, so it molds to your foot. Um, definitely an investment. So if you don't have the money, Impala is perfectly fine. Um, what else can I say? Uh, you, so to get both of these, the Moxie, you go to... Um, here's, here's what I'm going to say. I think it's always great to support your local shops. So you can either go to Moxie website or Impala website, but it all your local skate shops also carry these. They might be sold out right now because there's a crazy skate shortage because of COVID, everybody wants to skate. But try to go to your local shops. They're probably gonna have them following them, follow, follow them on Instagram because they always do updates and they're super active. Most local shops on like when you get new parts and stuff. Um, choo -choo -choo. What else is there? Um, I don't know. I hope that was helpful. I don't want to make this too long. This is already like 13 minutes. And to be real, I am not even going to go in and like edit this. I'm just going to upload this. Um, if you guys have questions, you want to ask me something, leave in the comment section below. If you want me to put more skating videos, let me know. Maybe I'll do them more often. Um, just to give info and um, answer any questions that you guys might have. And... Oh, just one last thing. If you guys do buy these, I suggest getting toe guards. If you guys don't know what they are, it's just great to have them to protect the front of your boot, especially if you're a beginner. You're probably gonna scuff up the front of your boot and um, it's gonna end up looking like that. And in the end, because there's this right here, um, the stitching, it could come undone and your boot could break. So I always recommend people having those. and. If you're a beginner skater, get your toe guards, get your protective gear. Do not leave home without it. Don't be an idiot. And um, what else? I think that's all for now. So yeah, any questions, drop it below. Um, don't forget to follow me on my Frank Vinyl Skates account. And if you're into the fashion lifestyle, follow me on Frank Vinyl. And if you have any questions, leave it below or shoot me a DM on my skate account, but I'll probably most likely answer you more quickly if you drop a question here. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope I wasn't too rusty today. Bye.